to our energetic professor, Nerissa Beatrice, my virtual classmates, good morning. I'll introduce to you myself. I'm Arlinda D. Buwan of Bagong Sirang Elementary School, Pili East District. My report is about bullying. What is bullying? Bullying is the use of force, coercion, hurtful teasing or threat to abuse aggressively, dominate or intimidate. The behavior is open, repeated, and habitual. One essential prerequisite is the perception by the bully or by others of an imbalance of physical or social power. This imbalance distinguishes bullying from conflict. Bullying is a subcategory of aggressive behavior characterized by the following three criteria. Hostile intent, imbalance of power, and repetition over a period of time. Bullying is the activity of repeated aggressive behavior intended to hurt anyone, another individual, physically, mentally, or emotionally. Bullying is divided into four basic types of abuse. First is the psychological, sometimes called emotional or relational. Second is verbal, then third physical and cyber. Bullying has been classified by the body of literature into different types. This can be in the form of nonverbal, verbal or physical behavior. Another classification is based on the perpetrators or the participants involved, so that the types include individual and collective bullying. Behaviors used to assert such domination may include physical assault or coercion, verbal harassment or threat, and such act may be directed repeatedly towards particular targets. Rationalization of such behavior sometimes include differences of social class, race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, appearance, behavior, body language, personality, reputation, line age, strength, size, or ability. If bullying is done by a group, it is called mobbing. Bullying has been classified by the body of literature into different types. This can be in the form of nonverbal, verbal, or physical behavior. Another classification is based on perpetrators or the participants involved, so that the types include individual and collective bullying. Other interpretation also cite emotional and rational, relational bullying in addition to physical harm inflicted towards another person or even property. There There is also the case of the more recent phenomenon called cyberbullying, physical, verbal, and relational. Bullying are most prevalent in primary school and could also begin much earlier while continuing into later strategies in schools' lives.
physical bullying. Physical bullying is any bullying that hurts someone's body or damages their positions. Stealing, shoving, hitting, fighting, and intentionally destroying someone's property are types of physical bullying. Physical bullying are, is rarely the first form of bullying that a victim will experience. So what is verbal bullying? It's one of the most common types of bullying. This is any bullying that is conducted by speaking or other use of the voice or some form of body language and does not involve any physical contact. Bullying usually begins at this stage and includes any of the following. Derogatory name calling and nicknaming, spreading rumors or lying about someone, threatening someone, yelling at or talking to someone is a rude in a rude or unkind tone of voice especially without justifiable cause marking someone's voice or style of speaking laughing at someone cyberbullying includes sending posting or sharing negative harmful false or mean content about someone else it can include sharing personal or private information about someone else causing embarrassment or humiliation some cyberbullying crosses the line into unlawful or criminal behavior then what is emotional bullying? Emotional bullying is the use of words to mock, shock, tease, or ostracize another person while it can have a physical component that isn't the primary mean of bullying in this case. This type of bullying can be even more damaging in the long run than the physical harm. So here are some quotes. Pulling someone down will never help you reach the top by cushioned wisdom. Then another one is blowing out someone else's candle doesn't make your shine any brighter. Then another be sure to taste your words before you spit them out by Bolivil Com. So, prevention. Some of the most effective ways to respond are to recognize that harmful behavior is taking place and creating an environment where it won't continue. People who are being targeted have little control over which authority figures that they can turn to and how such matters would be addressed. However, one means of support is to find a counselor or psychologist who is trained in handling bullying. Bullying prevention is the collective effort to prevent, reduce, and stop bullying. Many campaigns and events are designated to bullying prevention throughout the world. Often, bullying takes place 
in the presence of a large group of relatively uninvolved bystanders. In many cases, it is the bullies ability to create the illusion they have the support of the majority present that instill the fear of speaking out and protestation of the bullying activities being observed by the group unless the bully mentality is effectively challenged in any given group in its early stages it often becomes an accepted or supported norm within the group in addition to communication of clear expectation that bystanders should intervene and increasing individual self-efficacy, there is a growing research to suggest intervention should build on the foundation that bullying is morally wrong. Among adults, being a bystander to workplace, bullying was linked to depression. Become an upstander. Becoming an upstander looks like this. Taking action by telling the bullying to stop. Taking action by getting others to stand up to the bully within, with them. Taking action by helping the victim. Taking action by shifting the focus and redirecting the bully away from the victim. Taking action by telling an adult who can help support for a person who is upset at school. By asking them what is wrong or bringing them to an adult who can help. Witness bullying. If there isn't a policy, get involved or ask teachers or front office staff to speak about how you can reduce bullying. Introduce them around and help them feel comfortable. So remember, be a body, not a bully. So that's all for my report. Thank you.